One of the interesting things is a lack of options for Mauricio Pochettino in the last few games. I was watching the Champions League yep. game on my sofa on Tuesday, on, uh, in, in the week and the only thing he could really do with 15 minutes to go is change his full-backs. Now, if that's Pep Guardiola or Jurgen Klopp, numerous op options for them. Are we, for the first time this season, really seeing the impact of that lack of, lack of a summer signing, do you think? Um, probably because they've gone so far in the Champions League. Uh, I think that's why it's really kicked in. Um, but are we learning anything different? I don't want to be negative to Tottenham. I, I really like the manager. It's just the lack of investment is over a number of years, not just this year. I think if you asked everybody at the beginning of the season what would Tottenham, it'd be like Champions League spot. No one expected them to win the league. The year before was exactly the same. They're playing really good football. They had a load of young players who were playing really well. But they just could never reach the, the, the top because of the lack of investments, and it's but, shown again this year. it didn't year. matter because they kept improving. You can see there when Mauricio Pochettino took the job, 64 points, it then improved. Yeah, it then yeah, improved yeah. again massively. Yeah. There was then a drop. And this, I mean, the most they can get now is 73 points. The best they can achieve this season is 13 points less than they yeah, had two seasons Yeah, but you know what? It ago. doesn't matter. I mean, it's, of course... It does, you, though, because they're going you want, backwards. You want, to keep on, you want to keep on improving, but if they keep finishing in the Champions League spots where everybody expects them to do... We don't expect them to win the league. We don't expect them to challenge Manchester no. City this but year. If they keep going backwards and they are now clinging on to finishing the top yeah, four. Yeah, but by they're the way. fine because yeah. Arsenal are going backwards and Man United are going backwards and so have Chelsea. <laughs> I think what they need to do, and if you look at their new stadium, they spent a billion pounds on that yeah. stadium. Think about putting another tier on top and, put, and spending 200 million on the team. Yeah, They've got to exactly. back this manager, spend some money, and I think he's done it really well over the years. The way he's, they continue to be successful to a, to a point mm. in the top mm. four. They keep moving forward. Now they're in the semi-finals. Pay the money yeah. and get the, to. get the players in now. The recruitment, it's a massive summer yeah. for a lot of teams, but it's massive You're for right. Tottenham. Because Man U will go now, won't he? Man U will spend. Yeah. You know, Arsenal will have to back Emery. Yeah. We don't know what's happening at Chelsea with the transfer Chelsea embargo can't. and stuff, yeah. but with the manager. Tottenham have got a lovely stadium now. Give the manager, let him work with, with what we think he can do. We all think he's an exceptional manager, but if he's given the tools to go and buy a number of players which he could improve, they then could go to the next level. Do, do they have to spend to keep hold of the players they have as well? well, well of course, that's that, the first thing you do. That's the first thing you do, isn't it? He might want to sell one. He might want to generate some money. Does he let Adele Ali go or somebody mm -hmm. that he gets a bit of money in? If they're not going to give him the money from within and he has to generate, he has to look at the bigger, bigger picture. But... You know, sorry to talk about Arsenal, but if you look at Arsenal when they built their new stadium, they weren't given the, the, the resources to go and buy the players. And that's why Wenger's second half of his career was nowhere near as successful as the first. He hasn't won anything, yeah. but in order to win something, they've got to throw yeah. some money at him. Do you think Eriksen now has been there a long time and has been a superstar yeah. of a signing? Does he stay again when he's got the... He could have... This could be his last chance at 27. If he sees himself to, as a Champions League to go winner, again. he maybe feel he needs to move on, but then they, they could make the Champions League final this year. They yeah, could still win the, Champions, win the Champions, League, Champions League, you know? Final, I know. I and know. then it suddenly feels very different, yeah, of doesn't it? Of course it does, but they still need investment. I wonder whether in a sort of perverse way the Premier League these results period. help them a bit, because if you go to um, Daniel Levy with the similar points total they had two years ago and the Champions League semi-final, he'll go, what, 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 what investment? Don't need to. But whereas now, I think Mauricio Pochettino can go and say, that's what's going to happen We know again. if you want to sustain over a Premier League, no disrespect to the Champions League, which is a cup competition, we've seen how Madrid have gone this year. If you want to sustain that Premier League, August to May period, they need a bigger squad than what they've got. And you want Daniel Levy to give them the money. Because they need to win something as well. Yeah, you yeah. do need to win something because it gels you to that football club and that winning feeling. They start looking at other... Everyone will look at Man City and think, OK, I want to go there. Those Spurs players will feel that as well. Yeah.